You asked me if an ordinary person, by studying hard, would get to be able to imagine these things like I imagined. Of course, I was an ordinary person who studied hard. There's no miracle, people. It just happens they got interested in this thing and they learned all this stuff. Star, more than three times the size of our sun, the gravitational forces of the entire mass overcoming the electromagnetic forces of individual atoms and so collapsing inwards. They're just people. There's no talent, a special miracle ability to understand quantum mechanics or a miracle ability to imagine electromagnetic fields that comes without practice and reading and learning and study. So if you say, you take an ordinary person who's willing to devote a great deal of time and study and work and thinking and mathematics and time, right? then he's become a scientist. Mathematical description of velocity is moot unless we can define time. Time is not absolute. The distinction between the past, present and future is but a stubborn illusion. In other words, what is time? And for that matter, what is space? Newton's Principia, Volume 1. Absolute true and mathematical time of itself and from its own nature flows equitably without relation to anything external. Time and space, absolute, I know. Yeah. Well then, let's move on.